Milan Cover fam, I happen to be the wonderful, gorgeous with the white hat. Yes, that boy called Poet, and the person beside me is equally as beautiful. His name is David Friali. And this is a show called Comments Below. When you leave your comments below, and some yes! of them are. Ah, some of them are. Not so good. And there's an epic moment in this show, and guess what? We really at his hand. It goes. Comments of the week, and we discussed last week's comments and any other business. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, today we speak about Super Bowl. <laughs> I'd rather not. Mm. Even though Beyonce looks really, really good. Look, it's comments below. Every week we say we speak about football because, you know, we speak about football. And nothing changes today. We speak about the Premier League's action and Leicester City are still top of the Premier League. Mm -mm -mm. We do have what a guy. And we show you a little bit of the FIFA and chill we done with Mares. It's coming out tomorrow. Now, I think there's only one place for us to start and it doesn't actually happen to be in England. It's time for us to speak about Spanish football. Soccer Hero says, I would feel sorry for Gary Neville, but I can't. What a terrible performance from his Valencia team. Relegation, quick thoughts. Uh, Canizares, the goalkeeper that played for Valencia until about 37. I remember mm. he was linked with Arsenal. He had yellow hair in his I later age. Yellow hair. He had yellow hair, obviously, yeah. great minds think alike. Cool. Very, very cool. I liked it, very charismatic. He came out and said Gary Neville should quit and apologise after that 7 0 loss. And Gary Neville, right now, you're shit. Do you know what I mean? You used to do all the TV stuff. Yeah, go down, make a run down the flank. You used to look at everyone sternly. Caro would be like, yeah, I think we might win the league. And he'd be like, you're shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all, that, all that arrogance. You had a little interview with us and you were like, yeah, I'm a, I know what I'm talking about. 4-4-2. Yeah, sit on the England bench. Right now, mate, just stop. Should Gary Neville go back to Sky Sports sitting down beside Jamie Carragher and replace Thierry Henry, who is fucking awful? Or... Should he stay at Valencia and try and make it work? What did we do? FIFA and chill with who? Mares! Riyad Mares, the man who destroyed Man City, that's killing the league. Here's a little insert. What's your, what's your favourite? What song? You're going gonna to tell us a song then? Oh God, Mesa oh, Ozil. Look in, the in the middle, in the middle, in the middle! If you don't score... Martinez! Oh, that's your son! Yes! Quack, 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 Come on, quack. boys. That was awesome, Morris. Woohoo! Make sure you watch out for that video coming on Copper 90 tomorrow. Poet and Vooj doing FIFA and Chill with Morris. If you want to win the shirt that Reese Oxford signed in our FIFA and Chill, all you have to do is go onto that video, watch it, and leave a comment. Boop. Mad thing. Let's go on to this comment about Leicester versus Man City. You're actually Man City versus Leicester, considering the fact it was at Etihad. Mr. Cohen says, Leicester flying at the top of the table. Could they pull out of top four? Oh, they're gonna... For weeks upon weeks upon weeks, I was like, it's gonna fall off. You know that joke that you tell when everyone laughs and then eventually you're like, oh, the joke's not funny no I more. I don't want to bite your dad. Yes. <laughs> Leicester City, when is this joke gonna not be funny no more? Because they're still top. Like, when is this joke gonna, like, Get rubbed out. They have Arsenal next. They beat Arsenal. They beat what? Nine points in front of you? Egg Egg saying Vardy's goal versus Liverpool was amating. Amating. Now. Hashtag amating. Vuj, what happened? That was just top bins over his head. The, the ball from Mahrez is beautiful. It's, it's amating. And let's talk about present day now. Mahrez's goal versus Manchester City. Does that just sort of just oh. sum up how confident this Leicester City you know side is? is? Right. A counter attack where Mahrez is through. He decides to do a step over Jumps against a man. man. Cause over. And then Joe Hart, England's number one. Number England, one. England, number one, number one. With his right foot, his weaker right foot, belts it top corner. What's going on? Me and Poet were in Leicester, right? Yeah, we, we went were. to the Leicester training ground. The Leicester City training ground looks like a primary school. It's it got does. low ceilings. It has like people making food in the back that just look like just normal dinner ladies. You have Robert Hoof walk into his like Volkswagen Polo. Do you know what I mean? It just that all seems so normal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We, we met Jamie Vardy. You know how fucking cool that guy is? You see Jamie Vardy? He doesn't care. He's really enjoying his moment. Mario's as well. Doesn't really care. They're just chilling. Kante is probably the nicest guy I've met in life. And when you asked them, what do you think? You know, can you win the league? They went, we're not even thinking about it. We play each game as it goes. We're enjoying our football. It's true, and yeah. It's, and you feel it. You know, sometimes people say it and it's almost like, oh, you're lying. You can say mm. Liverpool. We're going to win the league! What happened? We didn't win it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. These guys chilling out. Even when you look at the fans, you know when I was talking about scenes? Mm. They don't even have scenes because they're all 45. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You've got like grannies with their sticks and everything. It's just so family orientated that it just feels nice and new and it's against modern football. I want it to happen. I would love it if Leicester won the league. What I'm saying is, Leicester's team costs around £25 million. 
Man City is 225 million. Fam. Let's end it on that. Can Leicester win the league? Pounds. 25 million pounds spent on a team. Is that team capable of winning the Premier League? Awesome. Leave a comment, let us know. Or will Man City just do what they do, you know? Play crap, April comes, and, you know, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And then they win the league. Leave a comment, let us know. JN says, Arsene Wenger is really stubborn. He sits on his ass every transfer window, refusing to buy any good players. What the hell are these boys talking about? You know what, though? I got a point. So sick and sorry, tired. Sorry, Arsenal fans. Are dickheads! Thank you. You're fucking four points off top. It's like, February. Chew. What's what? worse than that? They're like, oh, why don't we buy people? Oh, we got to buy everything. But big man, say hello for once. Secondly, Doug, buying is not the answer. Chelsea have bought, where are they? Man City have bought, they've lost more games than us. Who did you want to sign? Who? Alana. Who? Oh. <laughs> Arsenal are at a position right now, in order for us to push on and really make a presence, not just in the Premier League, but in Europe, we need more of a balanced team. I'm not saying everyone has to be world class, but we need about a couple of European world class players, mm. like at least five, mixing with the, the average Joes, so to speak. Mm. Spurs wow. playing Watford in the weekend, a 1 0 win. Yeah. Michael Carpenter says Spurs are second. What the actual fuck? That is a, it is a WTF moment. Yeah. I know you said Spurs are going to have a good season, right? Yeah, I did. You did say it. You did say it. Mm -hmm. But not this good, poet. No, not like this good. This, this is becoming a bit worrying. They've got Man City next to play. Yeah. They beat Man City. You beat Leicester. Spurs are still second with a point off the table. Like, what? Wait till mid-March. And if you're still in the conversation, then by all means, in my eyes, you are in the title race. But like Paul Merson said, I think it was Paul Merson or another journalist said, they haven't got enough players that have been through that type of experience before. Maybe that will help them in the end run. That they're so fresh and new to it that the pressure won't. Didn't help them. Liverpool? About Liverpool, yes, indeed. Josh 13 beats us. Vianich, how do you feel about Liverpool fans? Protest against ticket prices and walking out. I think that's a good thing to talk about. Go on. Here's a bit of footage first from the Redman TV of the fans walking out. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. You know, the game itself, just forget about it. As I said before, Liverpool's league games now are friendlies. That was a, an awesome move, an awesome gesture, and I like the fact that we conceded two goals after it because it showed you how shit the atmosphere went. Honestly, the atmosphere was booming. They sang You'll Never Walk Alone, 75th minute, and then walk out. I don't know what's going to happen when, when this video comes out, but at this moment, uh, FSG, you know, the, the top boys are all having a meeting about what's happened, an emergency meeting. So to me, that shows good intent. It shows that if fans are doing stuff like that, ruining the atmosphere because of decisions from the top, there you go. Do you know what? And a fish only smells from its top, not from its tail. So there you go. That is sick. I don't even know what that means, but that is ill. And a goldfish only remembers everything for five seconds. Well, Liverpool fans, tell me what you think about the matter. I'm actually, I have to applaud you lot. You lot are incredible. Shout out all the Liverpool fans that run that. Absolutely incredible. Um, and two years, you watch Liverpool. They're going to be a very difficult club to beat. The fans seem to be having to be on the same page as Jurgen Klopp, and Jurgen Klopp's going to install that mentality into the players. And once the players, the gaffer, and the fans are on the same page, you've got a difficult club to beat. Sometimes you talk to hundreds, but today we talk to the millions. Mm -hmm. How millions of Gotham Night fans all across the world from YouTube, Snapchat? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's that epic moment in the show that can only be described as in Klingon. Oh, comments! Well, last week we asked you for your favorite scenes and we got loads and loads of comments. Wolfie Gaming says, scenes where Liverpool drew against AC Man and winning the penalties in Champions League final. Exactly, I broke a window in my house. That was a true, true story. Aldino the Great Seas, Aguero! City fans went hard, fam! Oh, bloody La Decima! Ramos! Shit, I was fucking there, fam! Not like in Lisbon, but watching and I like felt the scenes, points at Chelsea like Vuge. What a legend. <laughs> Valle Carpatayan, Lalana's titties balancing in slow motion as he was off to break the Klopp's glasses. I like. Dragon reality! Scenes of my brother two footed my snowman. I rate him. <laughs> Indy Moart, when Stormzy peeled that orange. Mm -mm. Yusuf Sheikh, scenes when Adabio scored against Arsenal and celebrated in front of the Arsenal fan section. Pfft. Yuck. Adam Fitzpatrick, Samara set Rangers to make it 1-0 in 2011. Stephen Rice at Tottenham, 2011, scenes, limbs. 
Ben's vids, Gerard's goals, the Olympiacos in the Champions League, it was Amating. Amating, yeah. That was Amating. That was. Kirian Sitton, scenes, Beckham's free kick versus Greece. Oh, crazy. Dan Wood, Bradford beating Chelsea in the FA Cup, scenes. Oh, Walk Lord. Nomi, when Liverpool manager broke his last celebrating after Nurse winter after the set state seventh place. Exactly. I mean, Abdullah, my United scoring in three consecutive games. How? <laughs> How? How? Rear Admiral Fab Fangpus. When Chelsea parted the basket Liverpool, Steve slipped, Bar slot and Torres sweated, absolutely destroyed the title hopes. Remix it says, the time when I scored a screamer from three years out. Scenes. Wow, Dan's game in HD. Scenes when Poet meets his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, we did ask what happened to Joe's balls. Remember that guy left a comment and said he was in hospital because his balls hurt? That was incredible. People have left comments telling us what happened to his balls and let's just go through them. Hopefully you're okay, Joe. Kenny Beck says, Joe, Giroud launched a semen screamer two yards. <laughs> that guy whelps. Joe looked like... <laughs> Joe looked back at his awful Man City career and just fell to pieces. Joe's balls are hurt because he got them stuck in a milk bottle <laughs> looking for his dad. Joe Brooks, he was an AAE because he was so surprised that someone else was a... Bro, this is just weird. I, I wish I didn't even go into this. <laughs> um, honestly, Copper Fam, Pop don't leave us any more <laughs> comments Joe about... actually left his real answer. Oh. Joe Brooks says, hashtag Joe, I had epididymitis. They are fine now. What, what a guy. guy! Adam B, hashtag what a guy and Morecambe Gully scored the last minute goal to earn in the draw versus Pompey. That was sick. Alex Olia Harizinho. Rochester fan Alex Olia travelled 10,000 miles from Australia to watch his favourite team's game only for it to be cancelled because of a frozen pitch. Shout out to Rochester FC staff members who offered him a guided tour of the stadium and gave him an opportunity to meet some of his heroes. Mm. Jack Dilly, what a guy, Miller leaving the 70th minute with the thousands of Liverpool fans in protest of ticket prices. <laughs> Craig Slinsby, what a guy, what a guy should we go to Kalachi and Yacha this week for managing to break the Man City's first team in the 90s of age, already better than Martial, that cost, 150, that cost 50 million less. Poe, mm -hmm. we have four what a guys here, but mm -hmm. Vuj left a comment and said, the Napoli fans, for showing their act of solidarity with one of their players who was racially abused at Lazio, and it all held up like a photo of him. In the ground at the home game, at the whole ground. Action and intent, my friend. The action's amazing. The question is, what was the intent? Trying to cover up some bad stories that happened before previously, are we, Napoli? Let's just use this blackface as a way of saying, we are friendly. <laughs> what a guy is going to be given to the Rochdale fan, Alex Olia, who goes, yeah. who went from Australia to watch Rochdale. Do you know what? Can we just say he went from Australia to Rochdale? Forget about watching one. He went from Australia to Rochdale. That shows you his mental state is a man of a free spirit. <laughs> so we're going to point to the camera and say, Alex, what, what a guy. guy. All right, everyone, keep sending in your water guys, and uh, hopefully we can feature some of them on the show. But now it's time to go on to the best comments of the week, and we've got one right here from MovieMan9991. He says, Poet and Vuj, please talk about the extraordinary amounts of money in the Chinese Super League. Do you think that their purchasing of quality players such as Texeria, Ramirez, Freddy, etc., will become an issue in future for football? It's Why? a massive issue because we're showing you the power of money in the game. Yes. Alex Teixeira had a chance to, you know, go to Liverpool, probably other European clubs, somewhere where, you know, he'd be watched, still paid very, very well, and to potentially play in very competitive leagues and become a better player. He's gone to China. No offence to China. They're not exactly the best footballing place in the world. We're losing quality players to somewhere where there's just a lot of money. And you know the Chinese government wants them to win a World Cup by 2025. They actually have made football part of the curriculum the school curriculum. They've also got the largest footballing school in the world, where 2,000 kids uh, are placed, I think, every year to, to try and train to become a footballing nation. It's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Les says, so far up, we moved house, so we had to get some new furniture. Praise the, is that his mum? That's his mum on the floor. Look at that position, mate. Quite impressive, mummy. I like how, I like how, you know what, Robbie, you're such a lamp. <laughs> Robbie's a lamp. Is that his granddad? That's the end of the show, mate. Oh. Gotta go. But before we do go, just recap, remind you, Copper Fam, leave some comments about Gary Neville. Is he out of his depth? Should he just fuck off, go back to Sky, and make sure he can just Chug become on, a good coach? Gary. For England. Do you know what I mean? Chug on Gary. How about the Premier League? How crazy is this? Can Leicester City actually win the Premier League? Are Tottenham Hotspur in the title race, or is it going to come down to Arsenal? versus Manchester City. Let us know who you think is going to get relegated. And also in Spain, Barcelona. Arsenal fans, I want to know from you lot. Can we actually beat Barca? 
Leave your what to guys and FIFA and chill with Mario's is coming out tomorrow. Make sure you watch and share that. And also this video, like and comment. Share. And subscribe. And subscribe to and the subscribe. channel. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Bye everyone.